Let's solve this indefinite integral. I have 1 over 1 plus cosine x dx. That's my function. How can I start? You're going to use here rationalizing by means of conjugates. Multiply everything here with 1 minus cosine x, numerator and denominator. And you're looking at 1 minus cosine x divided by 1 minus cosine square x dx. When you simplify this, what do you have? You have 1 minus cosine x in the numerator. Here in the denominator from here, you're going to get a sine square x. You're looking at your basic trigonometric identity shuffling around and this is what you have. Separate everything across this minus into two separate integrals. I'm looking here at an integral 1 over sine square x dx minus. Here's my separation across the minus. Then I have another integral cosine x over sine x times 1 over sine x. I've just separated this part even further. I'm looking at a cosine x over sine square x. This is what I have cosine x over sine x sine x. It's a sine square x. I'm looking over here at cos secant square x dx minus. Here I really have a cotan x times a cos secant x dx. Consider this. The derivative of cotan x is equal to minus cos secant square x. The derivative of cos secant x is equal to minus cos secant x cotan x. And you see these coming into play over here. The antiderivative from here is easy. You're going to get here minus cotan x. The antiderivative from here is easy. You're looking here at the second item over here. You have a minus, it'll become a positive over here, and then you have a cosecant x plus c. This right here is an antiderivative. Minus cotan x plus cosecant x plus c. This right here is coming from the first integral. This here is coming from the second integral. Both of these are antiderivatives for what you see over here. This answer over here is correct.